So let's take a look at the first one. Let's say, what if we have 868? And we need to add to that 322. And we need to add to that 406. That's a lot of big numbers, a lot of things going on. So what we do is we go into the right-hand column. This is the perfect example. 8 plus 2 is 10. How do we know it's 10? Because you start with 8, go up 9 and 10. Another way I could do it is if we start with 8 and start tapping 9, 10, then we know that we have 10 here. Once we know that we have 10, then adding a 6 is easy because 10 plus 6 is 16. 10 plus 5 is 15. 10 plus 4 is 14. 10 plus 9 is 19. And you see how it works like that. So we know we have 10 here. We know we have adding 6 here. Then we know we're going to have 16. So we put a 6 down here and we carry the 1. All right, here's how we're going to do this column. We know that 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have 7 right here. And we have a 2. So we go up from 7. 8, 9. And then the 0 does nothing. So all of this adds up to 9. So here we have 7 and then you go up 8, 9. So you can always use your fingers, but sometimes you can just tap the paper while you're adding to help you so you're not always having to use your fingers for every single one, especially when the numbers are small like this. So here's how we do it. Go 6, one more is 7, 8, 9. And then we have nothing here. So we just have a 9, and a 9 goes right here. All right, so let's try to do something similar here. 8 plus 3 more. We can go going from 8, 9, 10, 11. Three taps means 11. So we go up from 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 right here. 11 plus 4, you can go up from 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we land on 15. So we have a 15 here. So we put the 5 here and a 1 here, and the answer is 1,596. We're just going to do a lot of these problems so you can see how to handle The reason I'm changing it a little bit is because if we use our fingers for every single addition when we're doing large problems like this, it actually slows you down. And I'm always here to tell you that you can always use your fingers. There's nothing wrong with that. I still use my fingers sometimes, honestly. But we don't have to do it for every problem. For instance, look here. We have a 3. Start with the 3. Plus 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. So we know that this column adds to 5. And we don't have to use our fingers for every one of these so that we can be a little faster. Now we have 6. We have to go up 3. 7, then 8, then 9. So we have... 6 plus 3 is 9. The 0 does nothing. So we'll put a 9 right here. All right, let's do the same thing here. Let's start with the 8. That's the biggest number. 8 plus 2 is 10. How do you know? 9, 10. So this gives us 10. Once we have 10, adding 7 is easy. 10 plus 7 is 17. So we put a 7 and a 1. And if you forget that, just start with 10 and go up. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You land on 17. As we do more and more of these, you'll start to remember them and you'll start to get a little faster. All right? Let's take a look at the next problem. What if we have 129, and we'll add to that 317, and we'll add to that 467. Now here we have 9 plus 7. Now here's where I'm going to start to use fingers because these are larger numbers. So 9 going up 7, 4, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 here, right? 16. We have to go up 7 more. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we landed on 23. So the 3 has to go down here and we carry a 2. Now we start with 1. I'm sorry, we start with 6. Go up 1 more is 7. Here is 8, 9. Here is 10, 11. So we have 11 for this column. We didn't have to use our fingers. 6, 1 more is 7. 8, 9, 10, 11. And we have an 11 here. So we put a 1 and we carry an, a 1 here. Let's do the same thing. Start with 4, go up 3 more. 5, 6, 7. Then we have 8, then we have 9. We have a 9 right here. And the answer is 913. It's totally okay to grab your fingers and do these. Absolutely no problem with it. I'm just giving you different ways of thinking about things so that you can get a little faster as you start doing bigger problems like this. All right, let's say we have the number 986, and we'll add to that 105, and we'll add to that 525. How should we do this? It's always going to be easier if you can find numbers that go together to make 10. So we have 10 right here, 5 plus 5, we know it's 10. 10 plus 6 is 16, so we've done that column without having to use our fingers. 16 means 6, carry the 1. Now look what we have here, we have an 8 and we have a 2. 8 and 2 go together to make 10, 9, 10. 
you kind of remember after a while that eight and two go together to make 10. So we have 10 right here, and then we have one more, which is 11. So put a one here, carry the one. Now let me show you this one. This one's easier as well, because we have nine plus one, that makes 10. Once we have this 10, five more gives me 15, because adding to 10 is easy. So 10 plus the five is 15, but then we have one more, which is 16. So actually this is 16. So we'll put a six and a one right here. The answer is 16, 16. If you wanna use your uh, fingers for every problem, that's fine with me. I'm just trying to show you different ways to do it. What if you have 132, and we'll add to that 195, and we'll add to that 118. Okay, start with the largest number. Now take a look at this. We can add eight to five. There's no problem with that. But look at what we have. We have an eight and a two, and we know that eight and two make 10. Nine, 10. Eight and two make 10. So if we add these and get 10, then adding five more is easy. It becomes 15. So we'll put the five here, carry the one. We don't have to use our fingers for everything. Now let's look at the middle column. We have the nine and the one. They make 10. That makes it easy because 10 plus the three is 13. So we have 13 here. One more makes 14. So we'll put the four here and carry the one. And then this last column is easy. One, two, three, four. The answer is 445. What if we have 803 and we'll add to that 623 and we'll add to that 186. All right. So here's one way to do it. Six, go up three more. Seven, eight, nine. So we have nine here. Go up three more. After nine, 10, 11, 12. Use your fingers, use taps on the paper, whatever it takes, put a 12 here. Now look what we have here. Eight and two make 10. They go together to make 10, nine, 10. Then we have 11 up there. So we add the one up there makes 11. You just ignore the zero, the zero does nothing. Now look at what we have. There's a couple of different ways to do this. Here's eight, but these ones make a two. We know that eight and two make 10. It's one of our nice numbers that, add, that go together to add to make 10, right? So here we have eight, we have two more that give me 10. So once I have the 10, I just add the six to make 16 because 10 plus six is 16. So you have a six and a one here, 1,612. So when you're adding numbers, try to look for numbers in the column that make 10. And then if you can find them, then you know that that's 10 and then adding beyond 10 is very easy. In this case, these two, this, these ones made two plus the eight was 10. Then we added the six to make the 16. All right, what if we have 545 and we'll add to that 309 and we'll add to that 119 like this. All right, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but since we have nine plus nine, let's do that on our fingers. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So these give us 18. Going up five more, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We land on 23. So we put a three here and we carry a two to the next column. Now here we have four, plus one more is five, plus two more, six, seven. So four, five, six, seven. And we have seven in this column right here. Next we have five plus three more. Going up from five, six, seven, eight. There's eight right here, plus one more is nine. So we have 973. So basically I'm using the, the taps on my paper instead of fingers, but you can use fingers if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's say we have 591 and we're add, adding to that 603 and we'll add to that 907 and we'll add to that 432. So this is a really big problem. Lots of numbers to keep track of. You know how we said that eight and two go together to make 10? It's kind of like one of those nice pairs of numbers that really go together to make 10. Here's another pair of numbers, seven plus three. If you go up from seven, eight, nine, 10, seven plus three is 10. That's one that you'll start to remember. Here we have a seven plus three, so that's 10. So let's focus on the 10, okay? Then we add the two, that's gonna give me 12. 10 plus two is 12, now we have 12. But then one more gives us 13. So the way in your mind you say, well that's 10, 11, 12, 13, and then you have 13. You put a three and you carry a one up here. But look what's happening in this column. We have a nine and a one, and that also makes 10. So we're always looking for things that make 10. So this gives me 10. I can skip over all of these and say this 10 plus the three is 13. 
And so the three goes here and I carry the one to this column. Now you can do this any way you want, but I'm noticing that I have a nine plus a one. Nine plus one is 10. So 10 from here, and then I add the five, that gives me 15. So this, this, and this gives me 15. Now let's add six, go up from 15, go six more. Seven, uh, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we have 21 having all of uh, these numbers right here, 21 plus four more, 22, 23, 24, 25. And we have 25. So we have a five and we have a two, 2,533. Let's go through that one more time. This gives me 10, then with the five is 15, and then the 15 plus the six gave us 21. So now we had 21, and then the plus the four more gave us the 25. Now, you can just start counting up nine plus six, and then that plus the five, and then plus the four, and then plus the one. There's nothing wrong with that. And you can always do that. But if you see something in your column that makes a 10, then it makes the whole problem easier. So from now on, we're going to try to look for those things. All right? So let's go through and do the last couple. We have two more. Let's say we have 868, and we'll add to that 740, and we'll add to that 809, like that. So here we have nine plus eight. So let's do that one by starting at nine, going up 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have 17 here. Put the seven, carry the one. Now, six and four is one of those nice pairs that go together. Six and four make 10. How do you know? Well, because five plus five is 10. So if I make go one up to six and take the other one down to four, it'll still make 10. Start with six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So the six plus the four make a 10, plus one more gives me 11. Put the one, carry the one to the next column. All right? So let's do this one. Uh, this one, I don't see anything nice that makes 10, so let's just do it normally. Eight plus one is nine. So this nine, let's go up seven more. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 here with these three, and then we have to go up from 16, eight more. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And we get to 24. So we put a four here and a two here, and the answer is 2,417. All right, we have one more problem. Let's go over here. Let's say we have 862 plus 191 plus 183 plus 251. We're gonna add all these together. All right, so what do we have? Uh, two plus one is three. This gives me three. Three plus three, you already know is six. Three plus three is six, plus one more is seven. So a seven goes down here. Now in this column, I don't see anything really easy that just adds to, to 10 for me, so let's just do it like normal. We'll do the nine plus the six, go up six more. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these give me 15, let's go up eight more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So these give me 23. Up from 23, let's go up five more. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I land on 28. So I put an eight down here and I have to carry a two to the next column. All right, so what we have here, we see we have an eight and a two and we know that that makes 10. Start at eight and we go up nine, 10. So this gives me 10. Then this gives me 11. Then this gives me 12. Then go up two more, 13, 14. So the answer is 14 like this. Again, one more time, this gives me 10 then 11, then 12, then 13, 14. The answer is 1,487. So adding three or more numbers, when you have three digits in every number, can be challenging. So we can use our fingers as much as you need to. There is no problem with that, but very often it's very helpful to look in the column and see if you find something that makes 10. One plus nine is 10. Two plus eight is 10. Three plus seven is 10. Four plus six is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. You know, I can keep going on and on. Those are the numbers that are going to add together to make 10. And so when we are trying to add these, it's very helpful. Sometimes we can find those that help us, and sometimes we just use our fingers because we're not sure, and that's fine. So get all of these yourself. Solve them yourself. I want you to practice them. Get the right answers, and follow me on to the next lesson. We'll get some more practice with adding three or more numbers, each number being three digits. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.